Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Saturday Morning Glory with Lady G. Well, y'all, today I am not in the garden. I had to bring my car to get it serviced, so I thought I would take a, a moment and to greet everybody and say good morning. I trust that everybody got their uh, perfect night's sleep so you can get up and defeat the challenges that we're going to have today because you know we're going to have some challenges. Well, y'all, before I left the house, I did make some tea, and it is some probiotic tea, and it is lemon and ginger, and it's good for your digestive system, y'all. But listen, let's go ahead and get into what we came to get into. I just wanted to come into the garden today and to encourage somebody, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've experienced, and it, it means something, yes, it does, it's significant in your life, but I want to encourage you to don't get bitter, get better. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. Don't get an attitude. Don't walk around mean. Don't walk around upset because of what happened to you. I want to encourage you to forgive yourself and move on. Got a story for you in the, from the book, honey. And in this story, it was talking about a woman named Naomi. Now, Naomi had left Jerusalem with her husband because there was a famine in the land. And while she was in the other, in the other, other land, other country, guess what happened? The Lord blessed her and she birthed two sons. But in the process of time, her husband passed away. And after her husband passed away sometime, then her two sons passed away. They had married and they had so she had two daughter-in-laws. So she left Jerusalem with the husband and she had gained two sons. But now she's coming back to the same place she left. And she's coming back with two daughter-in-laws. No husband and no sons. Well, folk are falling around her neck and telling her, welcome home, Naomi. Welcome home, Naomi. Y'all know how it is, some of, some of us former military wives. When we went to Germany, we went to Georgia, we went to all these different places. And we went with our husband. We left our family and everything. And some people said, it ain't going to work. This ain't going to happen. Well, we went on. And in the process of time, something happened. And well, it didn't work. So you ended up coming back to home to them same place them same people same faces but you came back empty you left full but you came back empty and it made you feel some kind of way but I want to encourage you don't get bitter get better well Naomi came home and she said don't call me Naomi call me Myra because God has dealt bitterly with me I want to encourage you don't change your name don't change your situation what you do is you get better in the situation don't let people allow you to change who you are because of the way they acting because of what they did to you what they did to you is significant yes it does matter and no they shouldn't have done it I want to encourage you to forgive yourself because a lot of times we beat ourselves and say well I should have and maybe if I would no 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 forgive yourself and get up the book says a wise man fives fall seven times but he'll still get up so I want you to get up but I don't want you to get up bitter I want you to get up and excited that you live to, to fight another day because what you went through some people didn't make it through some people lost their mind so I want to encourage you don't get bitter get better be the woman be the man that God has purposed you to be learn from your mistakes and don't be bitter because God has something better for you God has a greater plan for you he has a greater work but if you spend your time being bitter being mad being sour being upset then you're gonna miss out on your blessing